Anne Gladstone. I work in the Department of Computer Science at the University of Manchester. And I'm working on a project called City Verb, which is a smart cities project, uh, Internet of Things demonstrator. So, uh, as you imagine, we've got um, uh, some hubs, uh, we've got uh, centre data all around Manchester, uh, collecting data, and then we have hub owners who uh, decide which of that data goes public, and then um, end users, which is people like me, um, we can use that data to develop applications, um, so that data is actually available now. Um, it's not all there yet, but there is some data, uh, Manchester data available now to, to go and explore and analyse. So our remit within that project um, in our department was, was to write a, um, a data dashboard, which nobody told us what, exactly what that was, but our other remit was to also do cross-thematic data analytics. So the themes in CityVerb are health, transport, um, energy, environment and cultural. Uh, cultural realm. So we decided to write a data dashboard that helps people to do data analysts even if they're just what we call the um, domain experts and are not, not experts in analysis or they're not computer programmers. But um, if an analysis, analysts want to use our tool as well, they can do, they can just take the data, they can explore the data and then take it and run and go and use pandas or whatever uh, tools are, whatever. So, uh, what, what I found as I'm working on this, uh, the smiley and unhappy face is me while I'm working on this project. So, um, we, what, we've, what I found is for the catalogues that um, dis display what data is available, it's been very much a top-down, you must follow the Hypercat standard approach, and that's great for end users like me because I can write one software that works for any, uh, you know, anyone who um, writes a Hypercat catalogue for their hub, and that's great, but for the actual data points, which is the actual data coming through, they weren't standardised, they follow RESTful APIs, and that's about it. So that's a little bit more coding for me, which I like coding, um, and I don't mind writing connectors for each new hub that becomes available. Um, but what I do, what I do worry about is the um, uh, it's future proofing my software. So what I found with it is um, it's not all, so the top down approach isn't always the best best approach, and that retroactive integration um, is where we'd be relying on. Uh, so if I spend more time making my software sustainable, um, then. Um, I can rely on the community um, on a needs, but you know, so they can develop it on a needs basis and develop better software and future-proof my software. And so I've just got to trust in that community. So that's why this this workshop is a good place for me to be right now. Thank you.